In this video, I want to share how I made over $100,000 in commission in my first year as a real estate agent. And we're going after it right now. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Sell It Like Saul. I've been a successful award-winning realtor for 10 years. And in this channel, we talk all about how to be successful in real estate sales and also how to build a business with multiple income streams as a realtor. And I enjoy bringing content to help our fellow realtors with all the tips and strategies to sell hundreds of homes. So hit that subscribe button, smash that like, Leave your comments below. We love hearing from agents all across the world. So I became a realtor 10 years ago, and I recall that I honestly had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even have a mentor or a coach. I just had hope, the hope to make this dream work. I was leaving a successful, comfortable job in the insurance field to pursue a new career that I honestly didn't know what to expect. I had the confidence that I would be able to take my experience in my previous career of sales and customer service and achieving that at a high level and then transferring it to a real estate agent career. However, I did uh, have a few things as a safety net. I had a three month cash reserve set aside to carry me and I had my phone skills from my old job to make those calls. So I was gonna just call, call, call until I got a sale. My goal was to hit six figures my first year or at least close to what I was being paid in my old job which was around the 60,000 range. How did I get by and turn my vision into reality? Well, I joined a brand name company, My City, after interviewing over 30 brokers brokerages. I analyzed the crap out of them. I looked at the pros and cons of the fees, you know, what does a discount brokerage offer to a big brand. I finally decided to go pro and go with a reputable brokerage and the key for me was that I would have a private office. I simply wanted a place to make my hundreds of calls and to get into a zone. So my first three months, I also decided to let my past colleagues know of my new career. So I made an announcement to everybody at my old job that I will be a realtor. I even had a go away party at my old job just to introduce myself as the realtor. So a few days later after I left my old job, I got a phone call from a colleague who said that they're interested to list their home and they wanted to use me. I was so excited. I was very grateful for the opportunity as it set the confidence in me that people actually trust me with their biggest investment. But I also had a good reputation at my old job as being a top seller, so that really helped too. Anyway, I got the listing and I sold it within a week. Mind you, the market was on fire too, and now these buyers are homeless and looking for a place to buy in a competitively low inventory market. So I had three months to find them a home. And after seeing a few homes on MLS with them and not a lot of inventory popping up, I got a little panicky for my buyers and I decided, heck, I'm gonna go door to door and knock until I find a home in their desired neighborhood. So one day I pulled over to the neighborhood that I was looking in for my buyers. And as I was getting out of the car, a guy was walking by and looked at me wondering what I was doing. Mind you, I was in a full out suit with a tie and clipboard. I looked pretty sharp. And I told him I'm looking for a house for a buyer. Do you know anyone selling? Well, this guy told me go left to the street and to the second house, there's a guy selling it. I thought, okay, this is too easy. I, this must be bullshit. Anyway, I knocked on the first house and no one was home. Then the second house that he mentioned, the owner actually opened the door. So I simply remember my door knocking strip. So, so here's how it goes. Well, hi, I have a buyer who wants to move into the area. My name is Solomon. I'm a local real estate agent. I wanted to know if he would consider selling your home. And to my surprise, he said, yes, I do. So I got his number and I quickly told my buyers that I found a home within their price range and even cheaper. And they actually came to see it and bang, they bought it. Honestly, I don't know where that guy came from who told me to visit this house, but I felt this guy was like a guy from heaven. I mean, I soon realized door knocking also works. I mean, the, that was my first $10,000 commission check. So then I started door knocking more often and I secured another listing in the area and sold that one as well. And I was able to get a buyer who called from my for sale sign and they bought another home. Bang, I closed four deals within three months of being licensed. One thing I didn't realize was that commission checks were only paid on closings. So all these deals were completing in the summer and I was stressing so bad that I had run dry of my savings. So I started working even harder. Although nowadays you can get a commission advance, but I, it put a fire under myself and it started dabbling with Craigslist and posting my office listings on there. And I, then I had several leads that called me from Craigslist. Light bulb went off and I researched how I can effectively take advantage of the internet. So I found a coach by the name of Craigslist Proctor. I started to implement his systems and that was generating me leads daily and at first I was skeptical but then I saw my leads were coming two to three or five a day signing up to my website. That just made me realize that getting leads was pretty easy. I had to now do the hard work and call and convert, set up appointments, close deals. Now one of the lessons I learned was that internet leads aren't always the most loyal leads as well. I had several buyers who I drove around for months and they ended up using another realtor. So I did smarten up a lot my first year. I made sure I had contracts with buyers before I took them on. 
I also started checking Craigslist for sellers and people who are for sale by owner. So I got my very first for sale by owner from Craigslist. I managed to call them and secure their listing and I eventually sold it. I had a few more colleagues reach out to me and they bought a home. So I also had a few family members who decided to use my service once I made the announcement to family and friends as well. So fast forward to my results my first year. I had three colleagues that bought and sold, three referrals from family and friends, three internet leads, three door knocking sales, and one for sale by owner. So a gross total of all my commissions combined my first year, I made $106,000. I truly felt after my first year that I hit my goal and ever since then I've consistently learned and I stepped up areas of my marketing pillars to increase my results. And every year I've been six figures and up. There you have it. If you're considering a real estate career, there's massive opportunities still even in 2020. Although the turnover rate is high, you can still succeed. Now, if I would start over again, I would definitely hire a coach or find a mentor or even better, join a team to quicken the learning curve. So hopefully this video helps anyone struggling or thinking of a career in real estate. If you need help, this channel will provide tons of content. If you need to reach out to me, leave me a comment below or connect with me through the description below where my contact info is. And I'd love to help you realtors out. Again, thank you for watching.